What's up guys, Jason of New Age Revolution. Hope you can hear me. I'm a little far away from the camera right now, but the remodel has begun. That's right. The couch that was here is gone. It is upstairs. Actually, I had to take it apart um, to get it up the stairs. I didn't have to, but I, I would have probably scratched up the wall, tore up the wall a little bit if I didn't. So I took it apart. So that's no longer in use. Couch is gone. First thing we're going to do is pack up the 80s shelf. So this is the wall. The couch was here. The patio furniture was here. And um, now we're going to pack this up. And I don't know if we'll be able to, but the first move, the first move of the remodel, pack this up, take these shelves down, and bring the Ghostbuster shelf over to here. And the idea would be to move all five, six of those shelves that are this way over to here. It'll make sense as we go along. I'll show you a little bit. I uh, got some leftover Christmas beer here. Troegs or Tregs, Independent Brewing, the Mad Elf, Holiday Brew, Holiday Ale Brewed with Cherries and Honey. This is potent stuff. This is like 8.9% alcohol. Uh, and I usually don't like drinking, oh no, 11%. 11%. It says serve in a chalice. It really does taste better when it's in a glass. I don't like drinking this high octane stuff out of a bottle, but yeah, here we go. Man, that'll taste better after like two of them. Oh, but much better in a glass, trust me. I don't I hope my head's not being cut off. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so anyway, let's go. Let's just start packing. Oh, uh oh, wow, first. First almost accident of the day. Right, okay, let's do it a little different. Let's do it a little differently. All right, these are empty boxes. Yeah, see, that's, there's gonna be a lot of that. Those are empty boxes, the Dustbuster box, the, the VCR rewinder box, the Kodak camera. Um, yeah, the TDK, TDK tape. All right, let's move this over right here and take this down. This, you know, you've seen all this. This is just a, a portable television. Um, all right, now we can take the fry daddy down. And that's all we're gonna do now. We're just going to um, just box some of this stuff up. And as we do that, I'll take the Pac-Man. As we do that, I'm gonna pull these down too. And we'll put them over here. So, hope everybody's doing well. Again, hope your Christmas went well. Um, because you all voted on uh, Twilight Zone, the 85 series, 85 to 89, uh, I started watching it last night. I'm already obsessed with it. I love the show. Um... I watched three episodes, and we had, so, so far, in the first three episodes, Bruce Willis is in the very first one, the premiere, if they're, if that's the way they actually aired. Bruce Willis is in the first one, um, Annie Potts from, uh, from Ghostbusters is in the second one, um, and in the third one we had Melinda Dillon, uh, the mom from Christmas Story. She's in. She's in the third one. Let me tell you, they've been. They've been. They're awesome. They're awesome. Uh, Bruce Willis. The the very the very premiere episode was Bruce Willis uh, sitting in a bar, down on his luck. Calls his uh, was going to call his girlfriend or whatever. Accidentally dialed his own number, his own phone number, and himself picked up the phone. You get it? So Bruce Willis is talking to Bruce Willis on the phone about, you know, how can you be me? How can you be at my house? And that's the whole episode. They just go back and forth. And the whole premise is um, the character is choosing which life he wants to live. Does he want to be the well-organized character that he's calling? Does he want to be the, you know, the screw-off who's at the bar? It, it's, it was so good. Um, they've all been great. They've all been great. So anyway, let's uh, let's move this box over here. Because if you know, when I would do the remodels back in the day, 
I would just throw stuff on the floor and it would get um, it would get ridiculously messy in here and it would be overwhelming right there'd be so much stuff on the floor that um, I would just be overwhelmed it, it would be too hard to like know where stuff is and then you can't walk down here and I'm stepping on everything but as of right now if we do it this way it'll go a lot better so all right that's I love these. you remember these guys the, the Tupperware containers that we all had orange juice and Kool-Aid in all right so that's that and now we can get rid of this shelf and put it over here and we're good there and then all right so I probably all right I have to start moving that out of the way and we're just gonna start packing this stuff away so I'm gonna keep doing this and uh, once this is all packed up we'll come back and we'll we'll make a little bit more room and then we'll see what we're gonna move around so I'll be right back <sighs> all right uh, even with the room fairly organized uh, it's it's not easy we've only moved one shelf and it's it's not easy uh, we are definitely not gonna have room for two shelves on this short wall um, okay I, I kind of knew that but it's really hard to like move these shelves and obviously you have to take all the figures down but you know you realize like how much stuff there actually is even with the ghostbusters like just just moving them is like they're all over the floor and they, and they have fallen off their little steps so uh the first uh unfortunate situation is the ghost house or the firehouse does not fit uh back in the box no indeed it has to be uh it has to be taken apart, and that's not happening, because they are, um, this was probably, this has probably been together for several decades, <laughs> and it's, it just doesn't go, I'm just not going to attempt uh, taking it apart and snapping pieces, so unfortunately, um, it does not go back in the box. I had made the decision to put the fire house back in the box. Uh, to make more room But it's not gonna go and so we're going to display it the way we once did uh, And or the way we always have and that's out of the box, so this Is going to go up here and the firehouse Is going to go Here like so and then shelf number two is going to begin here so we're gonna lose already because I can't get two shelves in here um, actually you know what this phone is probably gonna come down but I still can't move this shelf all the way over because it'll block the light switch so as you can see yeah you can see that little corner I might be able to push a shelf flush up against the wall but then you're gonna miss you're not gonna be able to see so I have to start the shelf here Right, so automatically we're going to lose about about seven inches. Okay, no problem. Um, yeah, so that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted I wanted I wanted uh, the the firehouse in the box, but that's okay. So we're gonna we're gonna reverse all this. Um, I was thinking for other ways to condense some space. Um, I might hang a few vehicles. Um, I don't know. I I wanted to get two toy lines into this shelf, so I'm really going to have to try to condense. I think I can do it. Um, I don't need an entire Ghostbusters display. You know, like I've got the VHS tapes in there, I've got the, the um, TV tray. I don't need to do that. I would like to at least get, you know, um, another another 
line in this bookshelf. We're, the, the idea is to condense bookshelves, right? So already we're off to a we're off to a rough start. So I'm going to fill in the ghost house. I keep calling it the ghost house. I'm going to fill in the firehouse with more Ghostbusters than I did last time. I just had series one displayed in there of the four uh, Ghostbusters. I'm going to I'm going to put some more figures in there. Um, and then we're going to make room that way. So I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, uh, that took a little bit longer than, <laughs> than I wanted. Uh, this is going to be uh, this is going to be an undertaking. So, uh, Ghostbuster shelf. Hang on, let me get situated here. Ghostbuster shelf is gone. It was right there. All right. So here is the new look of what you guys have been used to seeing. No couch there. Ghostbuster shelf was there. It is gone. Ghostbuster shelf is now there. So let's take a look at how we did it. Um, it's still it's still fairly, you know, properly displayed. Um, it's not too bad. We just condensed some stuff. Um, I did not try to pair up every guy with every weapon. I'm not doing that. And I was able to use the bottom shelf for the American Gladiator stuff, which is not not my favorite line. Uh, doesn't need to be showcased. So it is in there, and that eliminates one little shelf section. That's where the American Gladiators were. So the idea would be to just narrow down uh, and condense. Narrow down and condense. That is a big, that's a lot of empty space right there um, in that shelf. I could probably put that uh, TV tray in there. I suppose I could move everything a bit forward and put the TV tray in there. I'll probably do that or else I'll just end up putting the TV tray away. So I'm going to put the TV tray in there, move everything forward a little bit. But this is it. I still got to move this end table. Um, and we're just going to have to try to fit another shelf, like starting here. So we're going to lose, we're going to lose a little bit of space, but that's okay. We'll, we'll start a shelf there. The next shelf that's coming over is this one with the Freddy, you know, with the horror stuff. Um, the Rambo stuff, I will desperately try to condense into one shelf. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it because the vehicles are big. Um, and the Dallas stuff is taking up two shelves. That's going to get condensed. So we're going to, this is the next shelf that's going to move over. And then, and then from there, we've got those. And I, I, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be tight. We're going to do this. We are going to do this because I think I'm going to condense. I'm, I think I'm going to actually get rid of that whole plushy shelf and just do other stuff with the plushies put them away put them on the couch when the couch is down here but look at this guys even though we were organized i, st I, I just gotta throw those are the couch cushions i have to throw those out but even though we were organized um we're not anymore <laughs> we are not organized anymore um uh, but we will be i had to do this i had to do this it's 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 what i wanted to do Okay, so G.I. Joe shelf is coming down. We have to figure out what's going to happen with those. Um, but there is the, there's shelf number one. Done. G.I. Joe shelf has been moved. That's where the 80s stuff shelf was. This is obviously where the couch was. And uh, we have one shelf down. This is not going to be easy. But uh, follow along with me. We'll all do it together. Uh, I'm going to have to definitely drink more of this.